CompTIA A Plus Core 2, 220-1102, Practice Exam. Questions 186 through 190. This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 186. A company's IT department has detected unusual activity on one of the workstations, indicating a possible ransomware infection. Which of the following actions should the IT technician perform first to effectively mitigate the issue? The answer is D. Quarantine the system. When dealing with a potential ransomware infection, the immediate priority is to contain the threat to prevent it from spreading to other systems. Quarantining the affected machine isolates it, stopping any further malicious activity and protecting the rest of the network. This step is critical to ensure the infection doesn't escalate, allowing subsequent malware removal steps to focus on system remediation. Question 187. Which of the following file systems is native to Linux distributions and provides journaling? The answer is A. EXT3. The EXT3, or third extended file system, is a native file system for Linux distributions known for its journaling capabilities. This feature is crucial as it helps in tracking all changes made to the file system. When a file operation occurs, ext3 logs the changes in a journal before applying them. This way, in case of a system crash or power failure, the file system can refer to the journal to ensure that the operations are completed correctly, thereby reducing the possibility of file corruption. Question 188. An employee attempts to visit a social media site using the company's internet during work hours, but finds the site blocked. When the employee asks the IT department, they explain that the restriction is based on company policies to ensure productivity and security. Which policy document are they most likely referring to? The answer is C. AUP. An acceptable use policy, or AUP, is a document that outlines the acceptable and unacceptable uses of a company's internet and network resources. It is designed to ensure that employees use these resources in a way that is consistent with the company's goals, such as maintaining productivity and protecting the network from security threats. The AUP is the relevant document in this scenario because it specifies which types of websites or online activities are allowed or prohibited during work hours. Question 189. A company is setting up a new wireless network and wants to ensure it uses the most secure protocol available to protect its data. Which of the following protocols should they select? The answer is A. WPA3. WPA3 is the latest and most advanced in terms of Wi-Fi security features. It includes stronger encryption, better protection against brute force attacks, and enhanced privacy on public networks. This makes it superior to previous versions and other common wireless security protocols. Its improvements address vulnerabilities found in older protocols, providing a more secure environment for sensitive data. Question 190. A growing company needs to ensure that their data is accessible to employees working remotely from various locations around the world. The data must be securely stored and easily retrievable without the risk of physical damage or loss. Which of the following methods would best meet these requirements? The answer is A. Cloud storage. Cloud storage is the best solution for a company with remote employees needing global access to data. It allows for seamless data access from any location with internet connectivity ensuring that all employees can collaborate efficiently. Cloud storage also provides robust security measures, including encryption and redundant backups, which protect data from physical damage or loss. This level of accessibility and security is unmatched by other storage methods. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. 
To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.